Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. WPLJ FM and HD1, New York, a cumulus station. It's 955 PLJ Reunion Day. Bring back all your favorite DJs from the past 40 years. 955 WPLJ. It's 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Please welcome back from the big show, Joey B, Jersey Girl Diana Ferrito, and Naomi Di Clemente. Oh, hey, it's Race Taylor and Joey in a full house, and we're working the phones and trying to get everybody on at the same time. <laughs> there's a, a lot going on here. Wow. Oh, wait, there's a voice. Hey, it's working. <laughs> Is that Naomi Di Clemente? Oh, my goodness, all the way from Rhode Island. I got to say, I got I got the station cranked up on the Sonos this morning. It is rocking in Rhode Island. PLJ is all over Rhode Island today. Wow. I love that. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> they were rocking somewhere. It's so nice yeah. to hear your voice, right? It's, it's great to, speak, to talk to you guys. I wish I could see you, but I, I'm happy to talk to you. Us, too. Us I know too. a little bit later, uh, Scott Shannon will be here, and you're going to check in and share some memories with him as well. But let us just start by saying, uh, everything that you've done on social media over the course of the past two weeks has been phenomenal. Oh, man, you know, Holy I've cow. just unearthed this treasure trove from my basement, and it's a sad, sad commentary on how I've kept my memories, but I uh, opened that box, and it just, you know, the flood of memories just came out, and I just kept posting stuff on Facebook, and people probably were sick of seeing me, but I just had to share all the the incredible memories. It was just one after another after another, and I think I didn't appreciate it as much then as I do now, looking back. Right. Well, I don't think anyone uh, was tired of it or got sick of it, because we loved it. And and really, you know, if you spent some time here at PLJ, you spent time listening here, it, it just it all came flooding back. It was incredible. Oh, man. Uh, the stars that I met... My family actually was taken care of quite well. My brother met his idol, Paul McCartney. Wow. My sister-in-law met her idol, Carly Simon. Um, you know, my other sister and her husband met their idol, Billy Joel. It just went on and on and on, and it, it just was. It was almost like a matter of course. Oh, who's coming in today? Oh, right. Barry Manilow. Oh, who's coming in today? Celine Dion singing right next to you, the seat next to you. Right. Who? Who has that kind of job? Yeah. It was it was the bomb. It was unbelievable. It's mm -hmm. amazing how blessed we were simply based uh, on our zip code, let alone the fact that this was 95.5 PLJ. Right. Oh, man. So, so much to be grateful for. And like I said, I just have so much, so many memories to tell my kids, and they don't really appreciate it because it's obviously people they don't even know. But I try to tell them, you know, Mom really had a great job at one point before she <laughs> gave it all up and had you guys you know and now they're 19 and 16 and i'm i'm not sure they know what to make of what mom used to do but well i think uh, you have a great job now and the yeah. hardest job <laughs> and we have nothing True. but mad respect for uh yes. women who work and raise families and and sometimes those who do it alone yes yes, yes. but you know my whole life was broadcast on the radio from their you know, the first child's birth to my engagement, to my dating, to my everything. Uh, so yeah. I shared every part of my life with the tri-state area. So they, you know, they got to know me and, and I got to know the greatest listeners ever in the tri-state area. Boy, our listeners were the best. They were the best. You lived a life here, really, because everyone yeah. followed you through all of that. Yep. And you know what's funny? I used to take the Bonanza bus for a short amount of time. And, you know, of course, <laughs> The bus driver even became famous because I had the same bus driver going back and forth to Rhode Island every weekend. So the best part is I'm re I'm getting ready to get married and I'm reading Brides Magazine, of course, on the bus. And um, a woman looks over to me and said, "Are you Naomi Di Clemente?" And I said, "Why, yes." And she said, "I knew it because you know they talk about you on the radio riding the bus and you're getting married and you're reading Brides Magazine." <laughs> and sure enough, that woman is now one of my dearest friends. She hails from Rhode Island as well. And um, and we now are the uh, the best of friends. And it all is thanks to the Bonanza bus and PLJ. So, <laughs> That's amazing. I, mean, there, I have story after story like that. It's, it's crazy. Who it's knew crazy. the Bonanza bus? Who knew? Right? 
Yeah, you know, and now defunct, I believe. I don't know yeah, what the heck the name so. of it is now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you had, uh, you, you talk about meeting all these famous people. You had a, a very special guest at your wedding, didn't you? Uh, well, you know, not really. I mean, he <laughs> you, he was supposed to sing at the wedding, That's but he right. was on tour in South Africa. <sighs> so he actually, you know, they uh, he made a beautiful tape and, of course, got on top at the wedding. And, you know, they had a field day with that, too. Sure. Because you know, they made fun of whatever I was doing. It was sort of, you know, par for the course. But anyway. Was it Tony uh, Orlando? Just say who it was. This is making me no. crazy. <laughs> but to be honest, um, you know, he wasn't able to do it. He sent me a terrific gift. He printed all of the words to Beautiful in My Eyes on a bed sheet. Oh. And he sent that to me. He painted it. Wow. Um, yeah, it was kind of crazy. But fast forward to my last show. Uh, he came on the phone and they had this whole thing, you know, set up where he called in and said, I just want to wish you well, Naomi. And he said, I'm sorry, I couldn't be at your wedding. And I'm, I just want to wish you well. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's some static. Uh, and the next thing you know, he came out from behind a door and then sat next to a very pregnant Naomi and serenaded me with beautiful in my eyes. So Aww. it all worked out in the end. Yeah. So it was a beautiful, beautiful thing. That is an incredible story. So yeah. And yeah, I think so. what we forget is that because it's part of the job, we don't realize that we're sharing every tiny little aspect of our lives with no. everybody who's there. Mm -hmm. And the, no. the letters and the texts that we receive from them, they say, uh, thank you for being part of our lives, but thank you also for sharing so much of yours. Yes. That yes, is very indeed. touching. We've got more of our reunion day in just a minute on 95.5 PLJ. It's 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Just a little bit after 10 o'clock, I'm Race Taylor. We have a full house, and our reunion day is in full swing. Joey yeah. Kramer is here. Yeah. Heather O'Rourke is here Hi. on the phone. Naomi DiClemente, and I believe another friend of ours. Joey B., can you hear us? Yo, yo, yo. Wow. Joey. <laughs> Wow, I can't believe I'm back on New York City radio. Do you still have a ponytail? Uh, no, I have a, well, it's fading, but I have a red mohawk right now. Oh, really? my word. Yeah, yeah, you know, just my job affords me to look like a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. You do. <laughs> Not much has changed, Joey. That's it, exactly. Nothing has changed. <laughs> You know what? I am who is I am, and I is going to be who's I going to be all by, all day, baby. Wow. Oh. Awesome. Awesome. It is our reunion day, and if you'd like to reach out, you can set us a text at 95955. You can also follow the hashtags PLJ Reunion Day and PLJ Memories on social media. Even the text coming in just from like the last couple of minutes. Like, I never expected I would hear Joshua Cattison this morning. What a great story about Naomi's wedding. Thanks, guys, say, for all the I, memories. It's my anniversary coming up. 25 years, Ooh, September 3rd. Oh, my God. The anniversary. So wow. That means more than ever, and I think we're going we're gonna to definitely crack that out and play that, and my husband uh, and I will dance uh, in the living room or the kitchen to it. There, and do you still have yeah. the bed sheet? Uh, I do have the bed sheet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we can roll around Doug. in the bed sheet. <laughs> there you go. i got to check my ID. I don't know if I'm old enough for the rest I of know. this story. What is going on? <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> oh, my word. So what was great was while Joshua was playing and we were washing away tears, we were having conversations about what can you have and what can you eat and where are you calling mm. from and all those other stories. Joey, fill us in. What have we missed? Well, um, you know, I'm, I'm in Florida now. All right. You know, I'm living large. I'm happy. I'm, uh, you know, about 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds heavier. <laughs> And I'm still sexy as ever, but you know, hey, such is life. You That's know? right. That's how it but is. It, it's all good, you know. I, I, you know, when this all came to pass, the emotions and memories, I mean, just flooded me. And who would think a fat little Italian kid, a local guy from <laughs> Kearney, New Jersey, born yeah. and raised in Kearney, New Jersey, would have yeah. the opportunity and to be blessed to work at 95.5 PLJ. And I'm getting emotional because it was like growing up, my sister used to listen to it in the morning, 720, the joke of the day, and yeah. I'd be running around the house, and I got an opportunity to be at work there with some beautiful people, and without the radio station, who knows where I would be today, but I owe everything to them, to everybody that I work with, and from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Oh, man. 
Thank you. Joey. Jesus, Joey, come on. We don't have enough Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, it's just, it's, just a, it's an emotional day. It's just sure. happy, sad, and, you know, just all the craziness working with all those people, you know, and it just... Okay, I'm going to get my... We've a lot of mornings together, together, Joe. A lot of mornings. <laughs> yes, you know, driving through the Lincoln Tunnel at a quarter to four in the morning, putting Scott Shannon's newspapers in front of his door. <laughs> <laughs> you, busy. Just, you know, Gnarly Charlie. I don't know if you guys remember him. Yeah. Oh, you, man. Just, you and Gnarly were always out on the van runs, right? You were always oh, out in the yeah. morning? That is correct, and uh, Scott would only let me talk on Mondays. So <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Listen, all I know is between you and Gnarly, you guys had to get into some sort of trouble, like, every day. You know, um, the best things we used to do when we were on the road is we do our stunts, and wherever we were, we'd always find a place to go eat. We, you know, it'd be uh, the White Castle on, on Queens Boulevard. You know, we'd get like 40 uh, murder burgers yeah. there and just sit in the van and eat them till like noon. Or <laughs> oh, we'd man. be at Nathan's, you know, in, oh. in Coney Island. So that's all we did. We'd go do our bits. What are we eating today? Right? And that van and that, never smelled better. <laughs> that was the best part of just being, you know, out and about, meeting all the fans and the listeners. And just uh, great memories that are going to last me many lifetimes. Oh, so great. Hey, how old are these fries? <laughs> yes. Can we still oh. eat these? Can I, it's under a mat. Can right. we eat this? Those oh. fans were something else. And, and, oh. and it was a different ball game back then because your competition didn't own another station that was flanking it in the market. It was like one station versus another. And there would be a plane with a banner that flew over yeah. your station event. Or you would have an event, and then someone from another station would put bumper stickers on the back of the all back the cars. Of your in the back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Man, those were crazy times. Joey, any fights with bumper stickers? Well, let's just yeah. say I remember one thing I had, we had at a radio station that was in New Jersey, and it got very heated where they pinned myself and Howard the cab driver in with five vans <laughs> in a parking lot. And the police had to come, and it was great memory. Oh, That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, right? <laughs> Everything Incredible. else. Everything else would get us in trouble, I think. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> oh, man. It is so great to hear these stories, and thank you guys for checking in. More with our reunion day in a minute. Bringing back your favorite DJs that made PLJ great. This is 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. It's 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Thank you so much for locking in. It's Race Taylor with Joey Kramer and Heather O'Rourke. Naomi is here. Joey B is on yeah. the line as well. Hey, guys, Woo. thank you so much for taking some time and joining us today. Oh, it's our pleasure. My yeah, goodness, yeah. what a historic day, a couple of days for you. And you're doing an awesome job, you guys. I know this is really, really a huge task to, to try to chat with everybody and, and make it look smooth. But you're the professionals. That's why you're in New York City radio. We are flying without a net. And before we go any further, we have to say a special thank you to Joey Kramer, Mike Allen, Dave Labrosi, and Dan Kelly, who have spent hours these past couple weeks finding all the clips, all the air checks from every era of PLJ, voicing the intros for our special guests, not only for what we'll hear today, but for tomorrow and what was part of our last weekend where we just went on a huge musical journey throughout PLJ history. Now, uh, Joey, there's a, a text message that came in here, yeah. and I'm trying to find the right one, and it has to do with you and some kind of soccer marathon together in the early 90s with a guy named DJ Dave who says, thanks for all the memories. Do you remember this event? I, I actually do. Um, you know, I used to do a lot of charity stuff, so I was out and about, you know, whatever it took, and they were doing a, you know, raising money, and it was a 24-hour soccer tournament. And... Guess what? I don't know much about soccer, but, you know, I was out there kicking balls and getting, you know, taken to school and just uh, a, a, a great day out and about. I mean, it really truly was. It's amazing the things that we don't know that we pretend we know to be able to help our kids or other kids. I also have coached soccer for several years, and let me tell you what I know about soccer. Nothing. Oh. Nothing. If I didn't learn it from watching hockey, and I try to keep the kids from fighting, I'm like, this is not hockey. Right. The gloves stay on. Mm -hmm. You know, oh. but still, that's pretty that's much. funny. We're, we're a huge soccer family over here, and yeah. my son oh, played boy. forever, and we named our dog Messy after Lionel Messy. Oh, yeah. So, oh, there boy. you go. You are all in. You, you are, are a soccer family. Doubt all yes. In. My goodness. 
Yeah. Joey, thank you so much for taking the time to be part of our special day today. We are uh, expecting a call any minute from Lady Diana, so we're going to clear the line. Joey, any final thoughts? All I can say is thank you. Love you, Joe. Thank you. Thank you, and God bless, and thank you, 95.5 PLJ. Memories in my heart forever. Absolutely. Oh. Joey, we Thank love you, buddy. Thank you, boys. Yep. Peace Take out. Care, Peace. We'll see you there on goes social. The mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so great. Oh, my so goodness. So great to hear from what Joey. What a guy. What a guy. Mm-hmm. We have other text messages coming in. Hey, can you tell me uh, any chance we're going to hear from uh, other people who have been on the station? And then they're dropping names like crazy. Uh, Gnarly Charlie and Linda Energy. And I believe I saw Fast Jimmy in the hallway for later today. Uh, AJ Hammer, Greg Thunder, all these people who have been part of the history of this radio station that you remember from one era or another. Uh, we're either going to have clips from them or they're going to call or they've sent something pre recorded. And and that is part of our reunion day today. What Heather, a day. What a day. how long until you have to take your second nap of the day? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to take my nap in about 20 minutes. In about 20 minutes. Naomi, time. I just want to say thank you so much for training me. I had no idea how to do news. Tom Cuddy oh, called man. me. This is Heather. I can barely hear her, but I, oh. I can, can I just say I follow her on Facebook now. And not only are you gorgeous, oh. you're so talented. And I, I look at you and I say, look. Just look at her, and and your outfits every day. You are rocking it. Aww. You just you look amazing, and Thank you sound you. amazing. And I'm so glad that you know life has been so good, and we just crossed paths for that short amount of time. But I forgot that you filled in for me. Yeah, you took you, over after me. You trained me because Tom Cuddy called me and said, "Do you want to do news?" And I said, "I've never done news before." He said, "Well, you do traffic, so you can do the news." And I said, "Okay." I came in and. You taught me everything I know about it. Oh, my god! And it was a great experience, and being trained by you was awesome. You're such such a sweetheart. Oh, thank you so much. It was, uh, those were the good old days, weren't Mm -hmm, they? They were. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, well, good luck to you with everything and your family. I didn't know you had two kids. You have two kids, I do, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ella is 15, and uh, Daltrey is 12, going on 13. Is there oh, some swimming somewhere? Did I see there was some swimming? My daughter swims competitively since she was very young. She did very well when she got to high school. My son plays hockey. So both of my kids do something that has to do with water. One yeah. is frozen. Right, exactly. <laughs> so it makes it very easy. Oh, that's perfect. Right. That's perfect. Oh, nice, nice. Well, listen, Naomi, I, is this line that's on hold right here? Is this Lady Diana? We're, we're checking that right really? now. Really? I, I'm afraid I, if I pick that up, I might. It, like, if this is Latvia or Lithuania, <laughs> these international her? charges are going to be out of control. <laughs> All right, we, we understand that it is her. Okay. All I hope right. she's not so trying to her. sell us uh, solar panels or something. I'm just going to go uh, hit this button. <laughs> that's right. Amway, hello. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, oh my God. God. It's her. Oh, it's Lady Di. <laughs> Lady Di. How are you? How are you? What well, fun this is putting this all together. Mm-hmm. I love hearing the jingles and the sweeps and uh, really, you guys had me going this morning, that's for sure. Mm. Some tears flowing? Yeah, I mean, who would have thought that PLJ would be going away? That's what we all you said know? about three yeah. months right. ago. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Right. I mean, but it lives on forever in our hearts, right? 100%. Absolutely. So true. I'm so glad you checked in because you guys, you and Naomi, go back a long way. And there are some crazy stories. I know you guys, you know, from off the air and behind the scenes events and things. And there's always, there was always something crazy with Diana. And she would call me and be like, <laughs> you don't believe what happened. And I'm like, this can't be for real. <laughs> I, it was oh, like yeah, Lucy and lot. Ethel. <laughs> we had a lot of yeah, good times, well, didn't we, Di? We well, did. We you had two had to be front. united front. <laughs> well, you know, it was great to see another woman walk through the door because with all those men, mm-hmm. I welcomed Diana as she came in and I, we could commiserate about certain things. And, and um, we did a lot of promotions together. And, of course, she was, you know, she was a key. She played a key role in that morning show and getting that going and the guests going. And every day she'd be booking a million guests and we'd have all these celebrities coming through the door. And it was in part, you know, due to her. Right. Oh, you're so. so sweet. Yeah, let me tell you, there was a plethora of guests right oh, yeah. during the year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so many. I, I remember the first book, uh, the first guest I booked was Kevin Bacon when I got that job. At oh, Kansas. yeah, the Bacon oh. brochure. Yep, and they came on, and so many people. I mean, when I first got the job, I said, okay, PLJ, it's huge. 
And uh, I said, I just want to meet Cher and John Mellencamp. Those were the two people. <laughs> that was, that was just matter. those two? Right. Those were the two. Right. And then over all the years, I mean, I got to meet Char every Charlton Heston walked through the door. Um, who else? Tony, Tony Bennett. Tony, Tony Bennett. Bennett. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Uh, Mickey Rooney. Tony Bennett. Mickey Rooney, so many. My mother had the opportunity to meet Tony Bennett. I brought my parents to one of his concerts. She oh. couldn't even speak. Oh. Right. <laughs> Tony is happening, man. Oh, he's the best. So, uh, I mean, it was great. And Cher, I met her at first at the Rocky Allen Showgram. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. had seen me when he was doing the show on Broadway, and she went to Tom Cuddy. I want to meet her. And Tom came up to me and said, Cher wants to meet you. I'm like, get out of here. I'm like, can I take a picture with her? It's because you had the same and, hair. Uh, That's right. Yeah. Cher hair. Could have been, yeah. Right. And she said, I wanted to meet you because you reminded of me of myself when I was young. Come on. And, really? Uh, yeah, true. Yeah. And I was like, nobody's ever going to believe she's saying this to me. And right. um, But throughout the years, she came on the big show with us. And I had a nice relationship with her to the point that when I wanted to get my tattoo removed, she hooked me up with the doctor to get it removed. <laughs> wow. Come on. You just texted wow. Cher? <laughs> hey, Cher. Hey, Cher, you know who's your tattoo removal? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're going to have to come out to Malibu and stay at my mansion, but... Do you remember yeah, what show she was in know, when you right? booked her? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what show she was in when you booked her? Because I think back then, for whatever show she was in, she would have never imagined that uh, 20 years later there's going to be an entire Cher show <laughs> right? on Broadway with uh, all of her music. Yeah. Well, that's when Believe was out. Okay. She had that CD mm -hmm. out. She's promoting those. Um, and she had that perfume, mm -hmm. Uninhibited. Remember that? Oh, oh yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Did yeah. you wear so it? She was really cool. Oh, and she had that um, that catalog. With all the furniture and stuff, I don't know if you remember that, but I don't remember. She was that. really cool. West Elm. John Mellon. Was it West Elm? No. Good <laughs> 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 It is, but I don't it's think that was Cher. <laughs> that wasn't her line. I'm sorry. No. Nah, nah, nah. Got it. But, That's uh, unbelievable. Yeah, it was great. Mellon Camp coming in. I mean, I'm sitting right next to him when he's playing "Small Town" acoustically on the guitar. Wow. Right. Who gets uh, who, who gets to no, experience something right? like that? Yeah. So cool. you know, we did I a mean, Bacon Brothers like, promotion too. Remember with the girls, it was a ladies' night, and we it, it was at the uh, now defunct Harley Davidson yeah. Cafe, and yeah. um, and Kira Sedgwick was there. We were hanging with Kira Sedgwick, you know, uh, Bacon's wife, and uh, you know who was better than us back then? All these ladies oh. dancing around to their music of uh, Kevin and Michael Bacon. Yep. You know, know, guys, to, it's it's what? funny because I, I was just thinking about this with everything that has come down with PLJ over the last few months. I wish we had cell phones and oh videos and all that oh, right. back so then. True. Could you imagine? Yeah. Oh. I mean, we, we, you know, you have still photos and, and things yeah. like that, but and, and we have some audio, but there's no video from your cell phone. And I mean, die if you were sitting next to Mellencamp, I mean, oh. just think of what you would have had. Oh, I know. I mean, it was great. It was so funny. After the reunion, I came home. I went through all my photo albums. I'm like, wow, remember this? Remember this? How many lanyards did you find? Because, wow. <laughs> a, a, a ton. I mean, it, it was fantastic. And uh, I found that one picture of you and me with Adam West. Remember when we went oh, to his yeah. convention? So, Adam, yeah. We, <laughs> Diana called, by the way, it's during the Yankee playoffs in 1996. Okay. She calls me and says, you got to come down to uh, Secaucus because there's some uh, memorabilia DC comic thing going on. And Adam West is going to be here. And I'm like, but it's the playoffs. She's like, just get down here. <laughs> Di, it's the playoffs. Uh, yeah, Di and I were kind of like an old married couple at times. And then, so I get down there, and she says, we're going to have lunch with Adam West. And I'm a huge Ooh, Batman okay. fan. Mm -hmm. Adam West yeah. era. Um, and, and we get there, and he's signing autographs, right, Di? And we were mm -hmm. supposed to sit with him, and we almost had lunch with him. And then he got, like, dragged off somewhere else. Oh, and you missed yeah. the playoffs. I did. Oh. I did. It was terrible. That's okay. Hey, but he got to meet Batman. Yeah, but I got to meet Batman, there so there you, go. there you go. And we didn't have shrimp scampi together, and <laughs> no. I missed the Yankees and yes. the Indians. Oh. I'm trying to remember that series in 96, because I want to say I was uh, newly married in Cincinnati, standing in someone's garage watching baseball. <laughs> right. There Something you go. along those lines. <laughs> <laughs> and and to the other side of your earlier conversation, uh, there's another part of us that just thanks God there was no video cameras to capture some of the stupid things we did <laughs> in yes. our youth, right? Oh, yeah. I am alive. Non-stop
DJs that made PLJ great. This is 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Yeah. How Woo! is everything Woo! so far? <laughs> Just about 11 o'clock in the big city. I'm Race Taylor. Joey Kramer is here. Uh, Heather O'Rourke is on a microphone. Melanie hey. Torres, thank Hello. you for letting us. <laughs> I know you guys just like step aside. We, we got it. We, <laughs> your show. We, you know, we jacked your show and we apologize for that. I am so glad you think we have that much confidence <laughs> because I can tell you right now, uh, it's smoke and mirrors, baby. That's, that's it. Smoke that's and right. mirrors. Uh, your song requests and your artist requests and your DJ requests are all coming in via text at nine five ninety five five. If you've been writing to us or pinging us on our phones, we're answering as much as we possibly can you can follow us on social with uh hashtag plj memories and hashtag plj reunion and we have a brand new face in the studio a brand new voice to the microphone please welcome the lovely jamie lee oh thank you thank you thank you so much this is so surreal and had i known a plj reunion was coming up i just started working out like three months ago oh my <laughs> god please you are in the top condition no changes from you right. exactly. you're the same this I, is great that's where my baby slept yeah that's right, where exactly so i got goosebumps it's crazy right here is by the way uh, to tell a little secret right here is where jamie lee would do most of the seven o'clock hour from the warrior pose from the tree position <laughs> every, right, all of the, i could not believe what happened at 705 at night as i was walking down the i hall. can't believe you remember that i almost fantastic. put my leg up on the console but i'm wearing big rain boots but it'll happen <laughs> the leg will be up thank every you time. for remembering oh man yeah welcome how thank are you, you these days tell us a story ah i should have planned one i'm a mom on the upper west side yeah, and I'm a, I'm a mom on the Upper West Side. You're a hard-working mom. That's what you are. <laughs> we know that life, by the way. And uh, Yeah, and I'm a full-time hypnotherapist. That's Is what that I do now. sleepy? That's why you're very, very sleepy. <laughs> a hush falls over the studio. <laughs> and we're all out. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Heather falls asleep in traffic yes. now. Of course I do. Is there school for that? How, do, how does this happen? How do you, you know, walk into this part of life? It's interesting. So when I left PLJ with my heart wide open, knowing obviously I'd come back one day, didn't know it was going to be this way, right. went to do a little bit of life in L.A., a suburban life. I was like, well, New Jersey or Santa Monica. So so, <laughs> so, so we did that. And, and I said, you know, all of these years being a yoga teacher, I did yoga all day and obviously on the air. And then I was sure. on the air seven to midnight for 15 <laughs> sure. years. Anyway, no, not all of those years. The but most I, limber night jock yes. that we ever had. So I went out to L.A. and I said, you know, being a yoga teacher all these years, the one thing I've always wanted to do is be a hypnotherapist. I just thought it was neat. Mm -hmm. I'd done it a few times. It's very related to yoga. Sure. I, I researched it. Do you guys know? There's only one school in the country that's actually accredited to teach hypnotherapy. There's only one dot edu. You okay, can you okay. can study it anywhere with any shyster, sure. you know, but one dot edu and it's in L.A. Is that the one you went to? That is the one I oh, went good. to. Okay. You were out there. That, yeah, no. <laughs> you were like, wait, I didn't go to that one, but that's the only one. <laughs> I should have went to that one. <laughs> that's why we're Don's, all awake still. <laughs> yeah. Big Don School of Hypnotherapy in Hackensack, New Jersey. But it's great. So I've put the two worlds together. I've got a recording studio at home, and I make yeah. I have an Audible book series now for, for hypnosis, self-hypnosis, right. awesome. meditations, okay. things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah, So um, and I use a different name. So okay. I guess you could but, Google Jamie Lee and find it, but I do use a different name. But what will the, will this help us sleep? Will this help us with a, an eating addiction? What will this hypnother hypnotherapy do? All of that. Uh, I see a lot of people for weight loss. That's probably number one. Okay. And I'm really good at it because for seven years after giving birth, I was 25 pounds overweight. So you? I had to do. I had to do it. Yes. Yeah. Imagine. No. I just lost it. I, I just did this for myself. Mm -hmm. and said, you know, it's time. I've been doing it for other people. So weight loss is my number one because it's true to my soul, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, fear of flying is a big one. I, I need that. Melanie <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and I are not going to yeah, be yeah, on yeah. the same flight. And, you know, it's interesting. People go to hypnotherapy to stop smoking and a thousand other things, a lot of things, you know, for stress, pain management. If you're mm -hmm. going to go get surgery, come to me before your surgery. Your surgery is going to go better. You're going to heal better. Wow. Right? Mm -hmm. So things like that. A whole bunch of stuff. Um, you can go to my website and see more. I don't know if you want me to say <laughs> the name of my website. Uh, if, if it's okay, I will. But uh, Put it yeah. out there. Okay, so it's my real name, sandyameshypnotherapy.com. Uh -huh. 
Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, you guys, for asking. And now, what are you guys up to? Where are you going? Well, that is the big question. (laughs) We're we're going to run Big Don's hypnotherapy. (laughs) (laughs) You know what I just got from this whole conversation? People in radio don't use their real names. I do. I do. (laughs) Monkey Boy. Until next month, anyway, (laughs) when I get married. Good, good, good for you. Monkey Boy. (laughs) Monkey Boy gave me my name. I started here as Sandy Ames for about three weeks. Okay. Monkey Boy called me. I was on the other line long distance. I'm sorry, it was Scott Shannon who actually gave me the yeah, news. Right. Scott called me and he said, Hey, Jamie. <laughs> and, and, and hold and on. I, By the way, everybody has their own Scott impersonation. Oh, yes, they do. Some are great, some yeah, not so great, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. already love what I'm hearing. Yeah. So. I'm on long distance to Florida. The phone clicks, and I'm like, um, uh, hold on. <laughs> and it's Scott, so now I can't hang up, and I'm paying for the long distance. on the, And uh, and I'm and you like, you can't uh, tell him that your name's not Jamie. I, it, right, because it's right. Scott, and I knew it was Scott, and everybody's like, oh, Scott. So... I'm like, Scott Shannon is calling me at home. I still feel that way about Scott. Right. So I said, um, hi, Scott. He said, Jamie. Jamie Lee. That's your new name now. And I'm like, why? Man. Why? He said, the monkey boy said that's a good one for you because it's more Hollywood. Sandy Ames has, it's not enough cinnamons and syllables. So, so Jamie Lee is more Hollywood and you androgynous like she is. So, oh my gosh! <laughs> tomorrow you're Jamie Lee. So I I made a big poster that said Jamie Lee, and I put it in front. People were calling the front desk like this new person sounds just like Sandy. It's so oh. weird. And why did you fire her? And I'm like, I've been fired so many times, but not this time. Right. <laughs> I'm really still. But yeah, that's my story. And that's what a great that, that is a spot story. on awesome. story because I know all of that happened. That's mm-hmm. all real. Yes. Oh right. yeah. 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 We have a text coming in that says, uh, "I listen to Jamie Lee all the time on Saturday Night '80s. Love that show. Can you tell us a story?" Okay. Thanks for all this time, guys. Right. I had no idea. I'd come in and just this is like therapy for me. So Saturday Night '80s. The the coolest thing that ever happened to me was when I picked up Time Out New York one time. And it said, hey, one of the things you can do Saturday night is call in and make a request with Jamie Lee. And I was like, oh, somebody heard me. Amazing. They know I'm there. So it's awesome. so yeah. weird. Yeah. yeah, Saturday night 80s. I Honestly, I wish I could do it again. I loved it. I I ate it. I slept it. I breathed it. I, I wish. I wish I could do it again. The, the talking to people. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of times I would get in trouble, of course, for things I said and did on the air. No. And so, so at <laughs> one you. point, no at <laughs> one point, the big boss Tom Cuddy said, "Why don't we just give you another call in?" hour <laughs> so you can just talk to people because i would i remember joey kramer coming in one day there was a new stamp that came out from the post office okay. and i said i'm just sorry that at the time leonardo dicaprio was pretty big you know right. i said i'm just sorry they didn't put leonardo dicaprio on that stamp because i'd like to lick the back of that and <laughs> joey comes running in and he's like how do you keep getting away with this <laughs> wplj fm and hd1 new york a cumulus station it's 95.5 PLJ Reunion Day. Bring back all your favorite DJs from the past 40, 40 years. years. 